Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to discuss about Agile Workbench that is available in Pega App Studio. Have a look on the definition of Agile Workbench which is very useful for us for the next uh, video. As we know there are different delivery models. One is Scrum and another is uh, Waterfall. So Scrum is nothing but an Agile. Few of the projects will be using some tools like uh, Zira or Azure to track their user stories and to track their features like how much estimations are there and how much work is still pending related to a feature and all. So Pega inbuilt given us something called as Agile Workbench. So once you log in in Dev Studio, switch back to App Studio. And you can see here a bold symbol. This is nothing but Toggle Agile Workbench. Just if you click this. Here you can see uh, you can add some stories. We can add some defects, you can add some feedback. First, stories are nothing but uh, work that needs to be done against a feature. So what is a feature? Feature is nothing but capabilities that you want your application to support it. So we write user stories against the features. So in features also we can uh, subdivide into sub features. <clears throat> and suppose uh, they have asked us to build one user story and we did not build it properly then uh, we can raise defects over that what is feedback feedback is nothing but our business has decided to implement some swipe feature but after that they want to add more uh, mechanism to it or add more functionality to it so at that time as it is not captured uh, in the initial stories that we will be considering as feedback than a defect so how we write these defects or stories into your agile workbench here there is plus symbol if you see here there is create story bug feedback okay suppose if you have around 20 to 30 user stories you can't uh, sit and write every user story over here or all the defects over here or if you have some excel format you can import that further pega has given some option called as import stories if you click this this pop-up will ask us to download the template once you download the template template looks like this so if you see it is asking name description associated feature id complexity so complexity it's a drop down over here and priority also drop down over here and this acceptance criteria these are the required fields that we need to give so once you are done with this go back to agile workbench see now i have only two user like new story and user two now I want to import user story, this one, choose file, stories, import. See, a new user story, three has been added. If I click this, I can see the update description, the descriptions that I have given over here. Update payment task, complex is medium, priority is future, and this is the acceptance criteria. You can validate data over here. And if you want to add new acceptance criteria, you can add over here. And coming to priority, suppose you want to build this uh, user story in future, you can give this priority. Or if you want in like an excess print or something, you can give this. Or if you want to build this as soon as possible, then you can give this. It's a must have. And this complexity, based on the user story and the description, you can select the complexity. And owner is nothing but you want to assign this user story to some developer directly you can give this and you can give due date by which time this user story needs to be built and here you can see right associated feature before jumping into associated feature as i have said features are nothing but uh, the components that we want to build uh, in our application and here features are nothing but the case types if you see here in our under application profile you can see manage if you click manage and here you have inventory feature map estimator so here you have the personas and if you have click on this it's features so these are nothing but case types that i have these are all the features suppose this payment one i want it to be assigned to register feature i will select register over here and i will click on save of this now feature has been updated this user story has been updated and mapped to the feature so before uh, jumping into next i want to tell one thing called as mlp 
MLP is nothing but minimum allowable product. Instead of building all the features at a time, we will be categorizing for which release, which features needs to be included. So here, uh, if you go to a feature and uh, for this particular register case type, I want this to be built in MLP1. So I have selected MLP1. And what is the complexity of it? And what is the category of it? Suppose you already built this, you can give this mark as done. So you can see status. If not, you can just uncheck this. And I want this approach registration to be part of M next MLP, like release. I can give and this complexity to be high. And if you want some comments, I can give that. And I'm submitting it. This is MLP1 and MLP2. And this is uh, complexity high and complexity low. And if you want more detail about your feature, you can go for feature map and see here register all the case types that we have created. And if I click register, I can see here, right, sub feature. I can add, I'm just closing this agile one bit. I can add more uh, features as well. Like this would be acting as a sub feature to this particular main register case. And see, uh, these are the work items. So if you want to map this to another case, I was approval register. See, this has been moved up from this particular feature. Because this user story 3 is a part of approval registration. See, it has been updated. Like this, you can create a feature sub feature and you can associate your user story to a feature by using this option okay now before going to estimations i want to show like uh, for a case type what are the personas and how can we relate a particular functionality to build to in a release this is a case type this is approval registration Here I don't have any personas, now I'm giving a persona as user. And this case manager portal. So I want this case manager portal to be built in MLP1. So I will click here and I will select this MLP1. And I would be selecting the complexity. As I said before, I can mark this as done if it is already done. You can see MLP1 is tagged over here. Suppose I have a data instance. I have to add some files over here. So this file feature I need to include in MLP2. I can give for MLP2. And what is the complex show over here? And I can click save. So in this way, before jumping into project build, we have to plan our project like what is the case life cycle and what are the deliverables that we need to target in each MLP and we would be associating this MLP to this feature to this MLP and which we need to build for the respective phases. Next, we have a team of 10 developers, uh, 2 BAs or 5 QA people. Then what is the estimation? Now if I go to overview, I would click on application profile, click on manage. This is estimator tab. In this, I want to estimate for release 1 how many hours I have to spend for release 2 or how many hours I need to spend. So as I have already classified for uh, MLP1, what are the features that I need to build and uh, what is the complexity of it, I have given already the input. Now I am selecting the delivery, whether it's a scrum or agile. Next, how many teams that are there and what is the scrum maturity of the team, whether it's high, mid, like experienced or freshers or it's a mix up of both the people. And staffing model, whether we are targeting for co-production or non-co-production. And this is environment, whether it's in Pega cloud or on the premises, or if we are going to build a new premises. And this organization complexity, and this is data import effort. And once I give on this, and if I click calculate, Pega have some mechanism in the back end. So based on the MLP1 complexities, 
and based on the team size you have and based on the environment you have selected it would be showing like okay for we, uh, developing this feature that we have selected registration it required around 65 to 94 hours and it is showing category wise like uh, if we have two medium complexity and one low complexity and we need to build two case types one personas and one channel and i have said like uh, only one feature i have uh, selected so this is one feature as i have only one form it was showing like pega resources like ui ux json 0.5 and these are like uh, ba ssa and uh, lead delivery roles how many resources are required for the respective features to be built and not only that here you can see record a video and capture screen you can select this option and you can uh, record a video to show a prototype for building a feature or for as a supporting document to a user story so that uh, it would be useful for the developer and testing team also to validate the features and if you want to add any uh, documents to support you to your user story you can add your attachments over here and if you want to post some comments you can start your con conversation over here so this is all about uh, agile workbench once you have added all the features you can go for refresh and if you want to open your application profile from here you can just click on this hope you have learned some concepts uh, play around uh, app studio so that you would feel comfortable uh, in uh, performing a ba role thanks for watching happy learning please watch subscribe and share to your colleagues.